guys, it's Sheila Shimmers. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Foundation and Concealer. I just received this in the mail and I ended up getting a couple of shades. I got two shades of the concealer and two shades of the foundation. So I'm super, super excited. You guys cannot believe it. And I ended up matching everything without even noticing. I also ended up getting this um, eyeshadow palette. This one is the Nubia 3. Nubian 3 Coral, and I just thought it would look really cute. I definitely wanted to get my hands on this, so as soon as I saw that they launched everything, I went into Juvia's website and I ordered all of this. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe below, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos, and let's just go ahead and get started. So Juvia's Place is actually one of my favorite um, brands for eyeshadow. I have a ton of them, and I really, really love them. I'm always looking on their website to see what else came out because I think that they're such a good brand and they have such good quality. Their shadows are honestly crazy pigmented and I just love them so, so much. So when I saw that they were launching kind of face products, I was really excited. I haven't tried, I know they have highlighters and I know they have some kind of powders that I've seen on YouTube, but I haven't seen them on online, which I'm kind of confused about. But I haven't tried any of that. So I saw that they were launching concealers and foundation, so I was really excited. So they came out with 42 shades. It's supposed to be paraben free and cruelty free. It retails for $20 and it brings 30 milliliters. And I think that is one fluid ounce. So it's pretty normal and, you know, traditional for foundations to bring one fluid ounce. It's supposed to be long wearing. It's supposed to be a smooth application or have a smooth application. And it's supposed to be a radiant matte finish. So it is supposed to be matte, but they do insert the word radiant in there, which makes me think it's going to have some kind of, not glow to it, but some kind of like natural finish, if that makes any sense. Give you a comparison, the Fenty Beauty um, foundation retails for $35 and brings 32 milliliter, milliliters. So it's $15 less and it brings about the same amount of product. So when I did my shade match on their website, it said that my shade, my perfect shade would be Evisa, but unfortunately that one was sold out even on the launch date and even at 5.30 in the morning. So I ended up getting the shade lighter and the shade darker from that one. So I have Tangier, which is um, 5.20, and then I have Giza, or Giza, which is 5.40. So obviously 530 would be my perfect shade supposedly. So I'm going to try to mix this two or just see on the swatches which one would work best for me. Something really cool about this brand is that it's women owned. I feel like everybody knows it at this point. Do start the numbering from deeper um, skin tones all the way through fair skin tones. So just so you know, that's it. That's how you're going to see it on the website. So they do have some variety of undertones. They have cool, neutral, warm, and olive undertones. I'm opening them up so you can see how they look like. They have this coral kind of color going on and theme, and I really like it. That is how it looked like right there. They come in this squeezy tube that kind of looks like a lotion tube. Not really my favorite for foundation, but I guess I don't really mind it. I'm not going to, you know, discard it before I even try it. So I do want to do some swatches. Um, this one is the Tangier, which is the 520. This is the lightest shade. So I don't know. Oh, I think they're sealed. Yes, they are. I really hope one of these two fit me or at least the two of them together because I'm going to be really disappointed if they don't match. This one is 520, which is Tangier, which is supposed to be the lightest of Vivisa, and it still looks very orangey. But that's kind of the color that usually fits me. I just feel like it's a little bit more orange. So I don't know. I'm going with 540. It's actually a much lighter undertone. So I think in terms of undertones... This one is 540 and this one is 520. Just in terms of undertone, this one is more neutral and this one is more warm. So maybe a match of the two. I actually want to do a match on my, kind of like the side of my cheek so you can see. I'm going to be putting 520 right here. And you can see how much, you know, orangey it is. And then I'm going to be putting 540, which is much yellow than my skin tone. But I feel like if I mix the two, we might be onto something. It actually doesn't even say anything about the coverage. I think it's supposed to be a weightless coverage with a matte finish. So I can't even tell you because the website didn't really have a lot of descriptions. So I'm waiting until it comes out on Ulta so I can see, you know, what kind of coverage they call it. That's it for the foundation. Let's talk a little bit about the concealer. So I did end up 
getting two concealers as well. This ones are called the I Am Magic Concealers. They come in 24 shades and they retail for $14. They bring 10 milliliters. Just to do a comparison, the Jouer Concealer, which is my favorite, is $22 and brings 4.14 milliliters. So that's literally six milliliters less. So this is supposed to have a weightless coverage and it's supposed to be really creamy. I do not think this is supposed to be full coverage as well, but I got a lightest shade to do kind of highlighting under my eyes. I got shade 18 and then I got a darker one that we can hopefully do some contour with. And this one is in the shade um, nine. So this is them right there. They do not really say anything on the packaging other than dubious on the front. And they're kind of in this plasticky packaging and then they say the numbers on the bottom. I am gonna do some swatches and I'm gonna open them up for you. I really like this, this packaging and they're kind of really big. Like if I compare it to my Too Faced, which I think this is like the biggest concealer I probably have, they're not really different in size. It's a little bit smaller, but still pretty big. The doe foot applicator is very big in my opinion. I think it looks more of like the Tarte Shape Tape, if not bigger. So I really like that because I really don't mind a doe foot applicator. I think I really like it. And I'm just gonna do a swatch of how the, this is the lightest shade, this is number 18. And I kinda, kinda really like it. I think that's gonna fit me really well. It kinda has the right undertone scare off because I thought on the website it looked kind of olive. And then this one is shade nine, which is kind of the one I'm gonna use for contour, hopefully. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of this Tarte um, Timeless Smoothing Primer just right under my eyes because that's what I usually do in the morning. And then I don't know if I wanna do one side with the sponge and one side with a brush. Maybe we'll do that. I haven't really watched any reviews on this. So I think I'm gonna be just starting on with the 540. So I'm not even taking a full pump. I'm just gonna be dotting this on my face. And this is why I don't like this kind of squeezy tubes because you don't really know how much product you're applying. I don't know. Feels really creamy. And it kind of has, I don't know if I smell anything, but I'm just gonna start blending this out with my brush. I'm using this one from Tarte. And this one, I don't know if it's too light. I think it's definitely too yellowy for me, but I feel like the other one was just too orange. Think that was a good match for me surprisingly it may be the wrong undertone but i'm just afraid to use the other one maybe if i mix it a little bit because i already feel like it's way too warm for me or way too dark for me in a sense because i feel like this one kind of has my perfect undertone it's just way darker i needed to bring some warmth back to my face because i'm not that yellow if that makes any sense but I do not think neither of this are obviously my right shade. All right, so I just want to show you a little bit comparison of how my face looks like with no makeup to how it looks with kind of like not even, I would say one full pump combining the two, but that is pretty good. I would say this is a medium coverage and it feels very lightweight. Like I honestly don't even feel anything on my face. I know, I know people just say that about foundations, but this is honestly... I do not feel anything whatsoever. It was really easy to blend and I'm really surprised of how smooth it looks even with a brush application. Like usually on my skin since it's so dry you can see some kind of like brush strokes um, left behind. So with the on the right side I am going to be using my little sponge right here and I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be applying the 540 with my finger because I feel like it does dry pretty quickly so I'm glad I went in with a light hand and just you know didn't go all, all in like I usually do. I feel like it was much easier to blend with the brush, but that's probably because I had more product. You know, the brush pick up, picks up more product than the um, beauty sponge. I think this side looks a little bit more full coverage than the other side. 
I'm just going in with the brush on this side because I honestly liked it better how it looked like. I just feel like it's much easier to just move around since it's so matte. And it's insane how I don't think, like, my skin usually has... I usually have some fine lines right here. This is not even accentuating that. Like, those fine lines are, are just hard to, you know, hide because they're so obvious, I feel like. And the fact that this is not even, like, showing that is insane to me. This is not clinging to any dry patches and honestly blend it out so nicely. Like I'm just give you I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a close up. You can still see a little bit of my imperfections speaking through, but I feel like if you wanted to go ahead and do another pump over top of this, because I kind of just applied two pumps on each side, you could totally do that. I still don't feel like I have anything on my face and it doesn't feel heavy or anything. So I really like how this is like still a little bit breathable. Um, I do think that my shade match could be a little bit lighter. So I don't know, maybe I could go for a lighter shade and maybe mix that as well. But I do feel like I can make it work once I applied the concealer. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to be applying the shade number 18 first. And notice that I didn't like correct on color correct um, under my eyes or anything. I'm just going to be putting a little bit and I wish I didn't go that heavy because I wanted to see how much it covered but I kind of applied too much too late. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, on the other side I'll go a little bit lighter. I'm going to be using my beauty blender for this. No concealer. I think it did a really good job at color correcting my darkness right there. And I really think this shade match, it's really, really good. It definitely brought back kind of like that light yellowness to my skin. So I'm going to be applying a little bit um, at a time on this side because I kind of went in, kind of forgot that I was like trying this for the first time. I'm going to be applying a little bit on my forehead and right here. Hopefully that will lighten up a bit Start by blending this out. I feel like this side, even though I didn't apply much, it still looks pretty good. So it does have some pretty decent coverage, I feel like. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe I won't set underneath my eyes because I would want to see if it creases or not. So maybe I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm just going to be applying the number nine contour shade. And we're going to see how this blends out. I hope this doesn't move any of my foundation. And I'm doing it in dots because I just saw how much coverage this had. And I'm honestly scared. Maybe I'll take this um, Makeup Geek brush, this is a stapling brush, and I'm just going to be blending this out. I think that's a good shade for contour for my skin tone. I'm not mad about it applied way too much but I do think we can fix it <laughs> so just make sure that you go light if you're gonna be using this for contour because whoa I'm just going in with my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna be blending this in everything like it doesn't feel like I have much on my face but obviously when I touch it it's still a little bit tacky where I feel like I might need to set it like it hasn't come down to a matte like a full matte. It's still pretty, pretty wet. Like, that sensation when you put the Fenty foundation on and you kind of know that you don't have to set it because it becomes kind of like powdery. You don't get that with this foundation. Not that I was expecting it to because it's not claiming it to be that way. But just know that this is not like a foundation you can just like... Like, it's still going to be pretty dewy if you don't set it. Because I really like how this brush, this Makeup Geek brush kind of blends out liquids it doesn't make them doesn't kind of move your foundation if you're using cream contour 
which a lot of brushes do that so I like going in with this first and then I kind of use the beauty sponge to kind of set it in place where I want it as far as shade massing I think we did pretty good I honestly kind of really enjoy matching my foundations like usually what I do on a daily basis is kind of mix my shades so I don't mind it at all that I had to get to to match me because now I have a little bit more matter you know what I mean like sometimes especially in the summer sometimes you're tan sometimes you're not would probably honestly would like to purchase this concealer on a lighter shade because I feel like I could have gone way lighter than that but I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad at all. What do we think about her coming out with 40 Shades of Foundation? I think it's pretty amazing because it was pretty easy for somebody to just find their shade. The inclusivity of this launch is something that it's really amazing to me. Um, and from the concealer, she also came out with 24 shades, which I think it's a lot of shades come out when your company is just coming out with face products for the first time ever. And I think it's really brave and I really applaud that. So I'm glad I'm, you know, giving support to a brand that actually cares about everybody and wants to include everybody. So this one is the Nuvian 3 Coral. I'll do something different today and just do a smoky eye like I never do. I think I'm going to be going for this shade right here, which is kind of the coral shade off the palette. Applying this um, on my crease. See? Pigment right away. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't tried Juvia's eyeshadows, I don't know what you're doing their pigmentation and their shadows just overall is just insane and the fact that they're so inexpensive just blows my mind plus not only they're so inexpensive they're kind of like always on sale you can always find them like half price or something like that either on their website or at Ulta I did forget to mention about the concealers and foundation Right now, they're only available at the Juvia's Place website, but they will be available at Ulta on June 6th, if I'm not mistaken. I honestly saw that on the thread of Trendmood's Trend uh, picture on Instagram, so don't quote me on that day, but I do know that they are coming to Ulta at some point. I'm going to darken it up a bit, and I'm going to be going into this shade over here. They don't have names, by the way. That's why I'm just pointing at them so I'm going for that one this one seems a little bit deeper doesn't seem much different though but maybe we'll go for brown after that I think I'm going to darken this up a bit and I'm going to be using this brown shade over here this whole look I've been using just a Morphe M514 because I love this brush especially for people with like um, hooded eyes like me it's just really good to get kind of like on that crease right there so I'm packing this brown right there and I'm slowly blending it out on the outer corner I'm gonna be applying some of her concealer on the back of my hand it's from Morphe 421 and we're just gonna create a cut crease or a semi cut crease this concealer is so liquidy. It's very runny. I'll be going into this brown, dark brown right here and tapping off the excess. And I'm going to be placing this on the outer corner. And I'm going to be blending it out towards, you know, just covering a little bit off that crease that we had. I'm going to be going into this light blue shimmer right here. And I'm going to be applying this in the beginning. I'm going to be going into this coral um, shimmer right there. And I'm going to be applying right next to this blue. And then I think I'm just going to use one more shimmer on the end. And that's probably going to be um, 
Let's see which one. I think I'm going to be using this one right here, which is more of a darker reddish, but still like coral reddish. And I'm just going to be applying this kind of on the end. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm going to be applying the Fenty Highlight. Just because I feel like this um, concealer that I apply as a, bron as a contour, you definitely have to set it because it won't set until you do it. It felt pretty sticky still on my skin. I totally noticed that I'm so used to going with my eyes first that I had my face done already. So I'm just going to be going back into this eyeshadow and just finishing up um, under my eyes. And I'm going to be taking this brown right here. And I'm going to be making it very smoky under my eyes. I wish I would have put kind of like a pop of color in this palette. At least just one. Like I would have loved to have a blue in here or something related. Or maybe just a bright orange. Blending that out with this coral shade right here. And really loving how this look is coming together. And for highlight, I'm going to be using this one from Fenty Beauty. I just got this. This is not new by any means. This one is our Kilowatt. And I got the shades Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. So it's a dual one. And I feel like this one looks a lot more glittery. This one is Fire Crystal. So I'm going to be going on top of that with that one. And I feel like, yes much better. I was going for something more dramatic since my look is kind of like on the earthy side for once. So I was doing a lot of crazy looks lately. I still think it's crazy of how this foundation is looking even though I did not set it. Not one bit. I do feel like you have to set your concealer though because when things were falling out of it, it was kind of rubbing off when I was touching it. Obviously, I expected that to happen but I still wanted to see how it performed if I didn't set it. Alright guys, so makeup is done. I do want to give you guys my thoughts on this product. I do want to talk about the foundations and concealers. Obviously, I'm going to start talking about the foundation first. It's the first thing I applied. I do think that the price point for this $20 is unbelievably inexpensive and I think it's really good. And the fact that we're going to have this, you know, readily available at Ulta, I think it's really good because it's kind of like a drugstore price, but it's also a very good, you know, quality. And I really appreciate that. I love the fact that they gave us a, they gave us one fluid ounce because that's a lot of product, especially for the price. Um, that's also really good. The only thing I did, um, I didn't end up liking was the application of this and the packaging. I do think that I would have preferred a pump, but that is honestly a personal opinion. That is just, you know, how I feel about this. More other people might like the fact that they have to kind of go and squeeze this out of there, but that is just not my preferred method to apply foundation. I did end up liking it more with this foundation brush. This one is from Tarte. And honestly, I love this thing. I am more of a beauty uh, blender person. But honestly, since I got this, I have just been using this solely. And I really, really enjoy it. I love the fact that this was so full coverage. Um, honestly, I ended up applying just two pumps of this on my whole face. And um, that, I don't think that's a lot. I, I'm saying two pumps because I honestly... I'm just exaggerating that because I don't think I ended up applying two pumps. I kind of mixed it together and I thought that 540 and was very warm and I thought that 520 was kind of more yellow. So the fact that this are two shades apart kind of made me think that the jumps on undertone might be a little bit too drastic. I hope that 530 ends up being my perfect shade. Even though I have combined these two, I still think that I'm a little bit too on the dark side. Like, I mean, if I look at myself in the mirror, I can see that my face is a little bit warmer and darker than my skin tone. I could probably get away with applying 520 by itself and just bronzing it out and see how that looks. But I did think that this one was more of a yellowy undertone. And I think that this one is just way too orange for me. So... I don't know, maybe I'll go ahead and apply and buy Evisa because I did end up liking it that much, but for now I think I can make these two shades work. I love the fact that they were so like 
lightweight on my face it doesn't feel like anything and it was very easy to just blend out i love that about it i love the fact that it didn't have any fragrance as well and i love the fact that it has 42 shades honestly I have so many things, um, so many foundations that I honestly go in to look for my shade and I struggle to find it, to find my undertone, to find my shade and I just think it's really good for when brands just think about everybody and want to include everybody in their launches. I do respect that and appreciate that so that is something I really like about this launch. Um, Something, I just want to give you guys a close up so you can see how my skin looks like. I think it's covering up pretty much everything and I just think it's so crazy how I didn't set not one bit of it and nothing is clinging to anything anywhere you can't see any lines which I usually do have my skin literally looks like a matte veal or just some gloriousness from above or something because I am so impressed the fact that like I don't know even like my dry areas right here on my nose are not even like accentuated how they usually are I just can't help those things from happening and I did only prime right here under my um, eyes but where I have the most texture is right here and it's not even showing that like no texture no lines no wrinkles no pimples no nothing pretty impressed with this foundation honestly and this is like their first try at it I cannot even imagine what they're gonna come come out with next I do want to talk about the concealers I got two of them like I said I got shade 18 which is the lightest and 9 which is the darkest I'm going to go ahead and buy Evisa and then buy a lighter um, concealer because I really really did like this this is more of a concealer that would be closer to my skin um, tone which I like for every day but if I wanted to you know brighten this up a little bit especially because these foundations ended up being a little bit darker than I wanted them to I would go ahead and probably apply something lighter than this I did end up really liking this um, shade for bronzing so I did score on this one because I think it's really perfect I think it's a perfect amount of neutral I mean the perfect amount of bronziness and warmness for my skin and I really 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 loved it I thought it was so easy to blend out it didn't remove any of the foundation that I had already applied and it did end up um, going in with a powder bronzer to set it because I thought it was still really sticky um, that is the only place where I did set this foundation and on the other parts I can still feel a little bit sticky but not to the point where it's annoying it's kind of like more like if you apply a dewy foundation and you can still kind of feel it on your face just a tiny bit but it's not anything annoying I'm just like saying what I feel you know I think that $14 for this concealer is honestly really good I'm just giving you my initial re reaction to this uh, foundation and concealer because I don't want to do a wear test and tell you how much I love it and then a couple days later wear a couple more times and then not end up liking it so this is how I like to do it I usually give um, kind of like my second thoughts after applying them with different um, foundations different products and different techniques I kind of go on my Instagram stories and tell you guys how I really feel about the products that I try so if you want to follow up on that sense all my Instagram information is down below but this is kind of like initial thoughts on how I feel about it I do think this is worth it if you have the money if you want to do it honestly it's not even a splurge because it's so inexpensive I mean one of these foundations and this concealer would cost you $34 $34 that's not even one foundation for me so I just think it's really good and it did give me I don't think this is a full coverage I honestly think that I could have gone in with more concealer I did think it was a little bit on the thick side but very runny if I I think I wouldn't like this to be so runny and I think I would apply a little bit more concealer because there's something that I want to cover up is definitely, you know, under my eyes so I don't look as dead as always. But if you color correct and then you go in with concealer, I don't think you would have any problem. I do think that this is really, really, you know what this reminds me, reminds me of? This gives me the same coverage as the Fenty uh, concealer. So that's, if you want to reference, that is what I think about this. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the Stubius Nubian Coral, Nubian 3 Coral. I did really end up liking these shades in here. I do think this is a very wearable um, palette if you are, you know, on the go, if you want to use this for every day. I feel like this is, like, really good for every day. I love the fact that they included some more great shades right here. I don't know if I ever, ever would ever go for them. I think that's something that I maybe want to experiment um, more with because I don't know how that would look um, with my skin tone but I do really enjoy how everything looked um, Juvia's Place is such an amazing brand and I love supporting brands that take into account you know everybody's undertones everybody's skin type everybody's skin tones and I just 
I love supporting small, small brands. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below. Let me know if you picked up this foundation, what you think about it, if you liked it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe below before you leave. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!